Azure's lack of ability to have SSL certificates managed easily has been a real bugbear for me over the years. I've had to do all sorts of fun things with Let's Encrypt to get reasonably priced SSL certificates on my site. Maybe there's a way to fix that now. Let's match on that. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the ASP Net Monsters. In today's episode, we're going to fix my blog, which is busted. Ooh, well, we better do this quickly then. Well, yeah, there's thousands of people who are disappointed by this blog being down, I'm sure. Absolutely. Uh, so this is what happens if we go to blog.samdens.com. Uh, the connection is not private. And if I take a look at this, we can see that my certificate expired uh, in the last day. Hmm. Uh, so that's problematic. I typically encrypt this site using Let's Encrypt and the certificates roll every 90 days. Mm -hmm. To do that, I have been using this extension in Azure here. Uh, let me zoom in on this a little bit. Extensions. Uh, so I've been using this Let's Encrypt extension, which yep. works fine. Uh, it's supposed to have a web job that updates the certificate every 90 days. I have never seen that work. Oh, really? Yeah, it huh. never works for me. So I don't know what setting. So like for me, it usually have. works for like a year and a half or so and then for some reason stops working then i have to go poke it but for the most part for me it does work but so this is kind of like the best way of doing it up until now if you want free yeah. certs um, and it sucks like if we if we go into it um first of all it takes forever to just load this thing and there's going to be another step after this where i have to load it. but you have to put in when you're setting it up a wide variety of keys and settings and it takes a significant amount of work to get it up and running uh, yep it makes me sign in again so like all of these settings here woo, which i should probably hide in the video um because <laughs> they're probably super secretive especially things like client secret so we'll, we'll make sure we hide that uh, so all of these you have to like bomb in by hand. Just, can you scroll down just a bit? I'm just curious. Um, yeah, I think the reason it's not doing it automatically for you is it needs a storage connection. To... Yeah, yeah. So I think I had those or I didn't have them or something. There was some combination anyway that yeah. didn't work. Um, that might actually be why the ASP Monsters site is working. Maybe I have them in that one. But anyway, there is there's another way of doing this now, right? So what, there is. What do we do? Um, so this is something that's hosted on App Service, right? Yes. Okay, so we can use something called Azure Managed Certificates. Okay. And we will do that if you go back to, right now you're under extensions. We'll have to go just back up a level uh, to Simon Online. Sure. And from here, we're going to go down to under settings. Uh, like on this side? Uh, on the left-hand side there. Uh, okay. We're going to go to TLS SSL settings. Okay. There we go. And here we go down to actually up at the top. This is where it gets a little bit confusing because there's a buy certificates at the top, right. which isn't what we want. We go to private key certificates. All right. And then over on the right under my face, it says create app service managed certificate. All right. Let's do that. And here you're going to select which domains you want it want them to apply to. Oh, let's do this one. And we go create. And there is one big limitation here that ends up being a problem for me for quite a few sites is that you can't do the naked domains. Right, so if it was just simontims.com, then it wouldn't work. Correct. But right. you're lucky here, you have blog and dub 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 so you're good you can use i don't actually inserts. know what is it either at the simontims.com i don't know where that points and if it don't mean it might not point anywhere now the nice thing about this once it is created is that you you don't have to worry about renewals it's not something that's done in a web job in the background inside your app service it's actually managed by azure and you don't have to worry about it good i'm super excited about ah oh. oh no okay so this looks like just Azure isn't working. Okay, so we can just hit create. 
And look at that. Okay, so it's made the managed certificate for us. Excellent. Now it should show up in this list, but sometimes you have to refresh the page to see right. it. You get to confirm that it's here. Oh, you got a bunch of old expired. Yeah, ones. so I've got a bunch of like unhealthy ones that have expired. Let's uh, some click of on that one just to s see if we can tell which one is the Azure managed one. Oh, I think, I think it's, that's... oh, this is interesting. That's the GeoTrust one, so I believe that's the right one. Well, it was issued on the 23rd though, which is a funny sort of date. Um, that is a funny date. And like this one, also, so I mean, it looks like, I don't know. It almost looks like it uh, went back in time and issued a certificate for you. Well, I'm wondering if the Let's Encrypt certificate is, is right. Cause this one, like when does this expire? October 24th, that's more than 90 days away. So this can't be a Let's Encrypt certificate. No, and I think the, the issuer is Let's Encrypt for the Oh, let's take a look at one that's expired. You're right. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we did get the the right thing built then. Yep. So now you just need to go to your custom domains and make sure that the bindings are set up to use that certificate. Domain spelled properly. Okay. Uh, so I mean, it looks like let's see blog.simtips.com. Um, where's the binding? Where is it zoomed in so far that I can't quite yeah, see what I'm looking out. for? Oh, I mean, it looks like the thing's about. Yeah, it looks like it's there, so let's take a look. No. No, it's still no bueno. Okay, so we must have to maybe just go into these. I don't want to I wouldn't remove it. Oh, uh, sorry, it is on TLS SSL settings, I think, the, where we define the bindings. Ah, OK. Which is right there. So we got a bunch of certificates. Let's just go and remove this one, I guess. And we'll yeah, I'd remove all again. these. Deleting. Deleting. See, you do have a naked domain one there. I do have a naked domain one. I guess that's going to stop working. Mm. I don't think it's a big deal. And then I'll add new ones and select those good certificates now. So okay, good. It good. lists the ones that are expired, so it makes it easier to pick the right one. Right, and then... Ooh. So that should be all you need to do. Okay, that might take a little bit to propagate through, but that again. nope. There you go. Does not, in fact, take any time to propagate through. Awesome. Excellent. So that's all you need to do, and you shouldn't have to worry about it again. If I were you, I'd and go delete the old this. certificates, but that's just me. That does seem like a good bit of housekeeping. And maybe remove that web job. Okay. So that's it. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks so much for taking me through that, and hopefully everybody learned a little something here. And uh, we will see everybody on the next episode. In the meantime, remember to like, comment, and share, uh, and I guess do all of that over SSL so that you can be secure. Bye. Thanks. Bye.